Oh no, my parents had caught me kissing our family's biggest enemy. This was officially the worst moment of my life. No, actually, it gets worse. But wait, let's start from the beginning. Hi, I'm Lucia from Canada. And before I continue, please like and subscribe. Growing up in the Flipping Flores Family Circus was a wild adventure. Instead of a boring, normal life, I got to hit the road with a bunch of clowns and acrobats and watch my parents perform for big crowds. And I was in training to be a great aerial artist one day. We went from place to place in our RV, and we were a very close-knit family. Literally, we were always squished together in that tiny space, which could get a bit much sometimes. But I still loved it when mom and dad snuggled with me in my bunk bed at night and told me their stories. Picture this, me with a killer mustache and a hat that defies gravity. And there she was, your mom, on the top of an elephant like a queen. Wow! Your dad grabbed a rose between his teeth, did an epic backflip, winked, and then tossed the rose at me. I was smitten. As good as our relationship was, growing up, I couldn't help wanting a little space, and I wished we had enough money to afford a bigger mobile home. Sometimes, I even dreamt of living in a real house and even going to school. Unfortunately, that all seemed like an impossible dream. Thanks to our rival circus troupe, the Jumping Jacksons, we were barely getting any shows for the past few years. They used to be my parents' best friends, and together, they were like a pack of acrobatic superheroes. Heroes. Their son Orlando was my pal. We did everything together, like silly playdates and awesome adventures. Look, Orlando, I can ride the unicycle on a rope! Whoa! Be careful, Lucia. Suddenly, I slipped, and Orlando Whoa. caught me right before I hit the ground. You got me. I always got you. But then, the Jumping Jacksons betrayed us. They found some investors and parted ways with my parents. But they also bribed most of the crew to join their fancier, bigger circus. My parents lost their best people. And ever since, our circus hadn't been able to recover. I was sad to lose Orlando. But thinking about his parents had hurt mine made my blood boil. And I stopped caring about him. The day before I turned 18, my parents and I drove to Calgary for a huge show, a circus performance that was part of the Calgary Carnival. It was going to be three months long, and my parents were expecting to earn well by participating in it. But even better, I was going to have my debut performance there. I was beyond excited to finally perform for a crowd. But soon after we arrived at the venue, we ran into the freaking Jumping Jacksons. What are they doing here? Us? What are you backstabbers doing here? Oh. I see you're lost. The audience is that way. Now make sure you cheer for us during our show. You have a show? <laughs> no. This is our show. See? You guys probably put the banner here yourselves. Desperate much? What did you just say? Before fists could fly, the show manager stepped in and told us they had double booked us both for the same show and the Jacksons would perform first. I was curious to see what the Jacksons had in store. And I had to admit, their show was good. And there was Orlando, all grown up and shooting fire like the pyrotechnic superstar he was. It was really easy on the eyes, too. Snap out of it, Lucia. He's an evil Jackson. Once they were done, it was our turn to show off. Dad had the crowd laughing. Mom was doing some amazing magic. And when I started performing, everyone went nuts. In the middle, I caught sight of Orlando in the audience, and he looked stunned. There was a roar of applause at the end of our act. Oh, we were gonna give the jumping Jacksons a run for their money. Money. When I woke up the next morning, I was expecting the royal treatment. I mean, a girl doesn't turn 18 every day, but I was sorely disappointed. Good, you're up. Lucia, you need to practice your mid-air flips. They could have been better last night. Um, didn't you see the crowd going wild after I was done? And no, I'm not practicing on my birthday. Come on, you guys promised we'd explore the carnival together. We must bring our A-game in front of the Jacksons. Please get to practice. You know what? Today, I just don't care. I'll go to the carnival by myself then. I left the RV and hurried to the awesome carnival show. I wasn't letting their drama ruin my birthday. I jumped onto my favorite bumper car ride and I was having the time of my life when out of nowhere, Orlando crashed into my car. Totally on purpose. Watch out. You watch out. And then I spun my bumper car like crazy. And by the time the ride ended, I felt really dizzy as I walked out. Whoa, Lucia. I gotcha. Are you alright? Can you stand? I, I, I'm fine, thanks. So, you're here alone? Where are your parents? Ugh, they're at home, changing our whole routine on my birthday. What? It's your birthday? You shouldn't celebrate alone. Can I sit with you? It's a free country. And then, he started asking about the changes my parents were making to our show, and I 
felt so angry. Wow, we've just met, and you're already trying to get intel on our act? Oh, don't play dumb. Your parents are the reason we're broke. They're backstabbers, so why would you be any different? You're just pretending to be nice so you can steal our ideas for tonight's show. I was leaving when suddenly he grabbed my hand. Hey, hold on. You don't get to judge me like that. Your parents were the greedy ones. Your dad went and lost all of the circus's earnings on gambling. That's why we started our own circus. The crew came with us because your parents couldn't even pay anyone. Despite everything, my parents have still been so good to you guys. Like that RV you live in? Yup, that's my dad's. He actually didn't want you and your family to be homeless. But all you do is hate us. You're such a liar! I gave him a tight slap and started walking off, but the guy was relentless. Check the RV registration papers. They'll tell you the truth. And the reason why you guys are broke is because your parents' show is weak. You seem to be the only real talent they've got. I stormed off to the RV. I was gonna prove this jerk wrong. I looked through the briefcase where Dad kept important documents and found the registration papers. And to my shock, Jackson was right. As I was about to put the briefcase back under the bed, I noticed a duffel bag, which I opened to find piles of cash. Just then, my parents entered, and Dad looked horrified. Why were you snooping through my stuff? Dad, where did you get all this money? If you have this kind of wealth, why are we living in this RV? Sweetheart, we'll tell you everything later. Now is not a good time. No, Mom, now. You owe me the truth. We owe you nothing. Honey, relax. Lucia, it's complicated. But I promise that one day we will explain everything. For now, we really need you to focus on the show. Please. I really wanted answers, but I knew my parents weren't going to give in right now. But as I was performing during the next show, I couldn't help thinking about what Orlando had said and all that cash secretly stashed away. I lost my focus and ended up messing up my routine. Get your head in the game. Instead of being wowed, people were laughing at your performance. You're our star performer, remember? I tried my best, Dad. I messed up one time. Jeez, I need some fresh air. Nothing was normal anymore. If Orlando was right about the RV, he was probably right about the other stuff, too. I didn't want to doubt my parents, but I couldn't help it. I asked them about the cash a couple more times, but they just wouldn't give me a straight answer. Maybe they were up to something shady, and maybe the Jacksons were right to leave them all along. A week later, I felt guilty remembering how I'd slapped Orlando, so I looked him up on Instagram and shot him an apology message. He replied almost instantly, asking me to meet him on the merry-go-round. Look, I'm sorry, I had no idea. It's not your fault, Lucia. Can we forget about the past and start fresh? Because I've really missed my friend. I did too. Orlando and I roamed around the carnival and talked about everything under the sun. We laughed, we bonded, and then we conquered every thrilling ride at that carnival. It was pure awesomeness. As he walked me back to the RV, Orlando suddenly stopped and pulled something out from his pocket. It was the necklace I'd been eyeing at a stall. OMG, you actually got it? Yeah, while you were busy wolfing down your ice cream. Here you go, your belated birthday gift. Happy birthday. He put the necklace on me, then gently kissed my cheek and walked away. And I felt like my stomach was filled with a thousand butterflies. With a silly smile, I entered the RV and found my parents waiting for me. Uh, what's going on? We know. Oh god, I was so busted. We know how disappointed you were yesterday, and we're so sorry, honey. Your mom and I were just worried about the show, but look what we have here. Happy belated birthday. Better late than never, right? A cake! Right! Thanks! After that, Orlando and I would meet up in a secret spot every evening after our performances and hang out. One day, he even made me meet his parents, and I'd expected them to be rude to me given our family's history. But they were so nice and warm, and I loved spending time with them. My parents were definitely wrong about them. Three months of secret meetings, and I felt myself totally falling for Orlando. I didn't say anything because I wasn't sure he felt the same way. But one night as we were walking, I dropped my phone and we both bent to pick it up, and our heads bumped into each other. Oh, oops. Sorry. I didn't mind. <laughs> then he leaned in and kissed me, and it was magical. Wow. Lucia, I think I really, really like you. No, I love you. Me too. Um, I mean, I love you, <laughs> not me. Before I could finish, he kissed me again. But right then, I heard my mom scream. What are you doing? All the people, why him? Don't you know what his family did to us? A sinking feeling washed over me as my dad yanked me away from Orlando. When we made it back to the RV, I knew I was about to get the screaming of a lifetime, but 
I was done with my parents' lies. I was gonna speak my mind first. You guys are like the ultimate liars. Orlando's parents are genuinely cool people, and he's been totally upfront with me. They had a good reason to leave you after you gambled everything away, Dad. All you've done is filled me with hate against them, and now you just want to make me practice nonstop and use me to beat them. Also, you keep lying about why you have all that money. And if you had it, why couldn't you at least give me a bigger home and a better life? You know what? I don't want to be part of the flipping Flores family circus anymore, and you can't stop me. That day, I walked away from my parents and ended up at Orlando's place, where I was welcomed with open arms. And before I knew it, a few months flew by, and Orlando and I were standing at the altar saying I do. I thought I was done with the whole circus thing, but the Jumping Jacksons lost their best aerial artist after an injury, and Orlando persuaded me to join them. And soon enough, I became the star attraction of their show with my stunning performances. You know, babe, I even tried for your sake. I know how much you miss your parents, so I went to them and begged them to forget old feuds, but your dad kicked me out, saying that they didn't have a daughter anymore. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I tried to put them out of my mind, which was especially hard when I had my daughter Sophie two years later. I really wanted her to meet my parents. But a few days later, I woke up late one night to get some water, and I overheard a conversation that left me shook. When is Lucia getting back on the stage? She's taken such a long break with her pregnancy, and the show is suffering. Don't worry, Mom. I've convinced her she needs to be back in practice by next week. Has she tried getting in touch with her parents? I thought she might try to, to tell them about the baby. <sighs> nah, that's not gonna happen. I convinced her a long time ago that they don't want anything to do with her, and I've told them the same. They won't be coming around to see her again. What? My parents had tried to visit me? You know they finally shut down the flippin' Flores Circus, right? Took them long enough. They should have shut down the first time we walked off with the investors and all the crew, convincing them that Lucia's dad had the gambling problem. And now, we've got their best act right here with us. <laughs> I tiptoed away quietly, feeling weak in the knees. I had been so, so wrong about everything, and I'd probably broken my parents' hearts. But I was gonna set everything right. A month later, I was back in perfect shape, and we had a huge venue we were performing at, with sold-out tickets. But minutes before the show was about to start, I turned up in the dressing room with Sophie and a suitcase. Lucia, why haven't you changed yet? What's going on? I'm leaving you, Orlando. For good. What? Yeah. You really played me for a fool, didn't you? But I am thrilled with you and your lying, cheating parents who robbed my family of all their chances to be great. I know everything, so don't even bother. But thank you so much for giving me a big platform to perform on. I'm pretty famous now, you know. Hear that crowd out there? I think they're chanting, Lucia, Lucia. I've found an investor to help me with my circus, the Flipping Flores Family Circus. And I'm gonna make us 10 times bigger than you if it's the last thing I do. Also, I'm taking your best crew members, because guess what? No one likes to be treated like garbage. With that, I punched him in the nose and walked out of there with my daughter. And when I went to my parents, I saw their RV was in shambles. If they had money, why were they living like this? When I entered, my mom and dad burst into tears upon seeing me and hugged me tight. They kissed my baby, and then they finally told me the truth. Your mom has a serious bone disease, and I've been saving up every penny we made for her treatments. That's why we never spent money anywhere else. And after we'd earned well at the carnival, we were planning to take a break for a while for your mom's treatments. We didn't tell you about her illness because we didn't want to scare you. We were going to tell you everything, but you were too angry to listen then, and you were in love with Orlando. We tried getting in touch so many times, sweetheart. We even visited you, but we were always turned away. Orlando and his family said you didn't want to see us ever. I never even knew you came. I thought you didn't want to see me. Mom, Dad, I'm so sorry I didn't believe you, but everything is going to be okay. Hey now, I'm here, and I'm never leaving you again. I kept my promise to Orlando, and I made our circus a roaring success. My heart burst with pride seeing my parents and little Sophie in the audience. And we finally moved out of that stupid RV.